Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. First of all, I'd just like uh, to say thank you to the uh, Coalition for Human Rights uh, and this uh, summit uh, on uh, democracy and uh, tolerance for inviting me. Matteo has asked me to make a presentation and uh, I'd like uh, just uh, to say thank you for giving us an opportunity to express uh, our views and uh, bear witness. Now, it is very dif difficult to, to defend uh, human rights in totalitarian regimes, uh, uh, and I'm not uh, the only one as a lawyer fighting uh, for these uh, human rights. There are persons who are persecuted, uh, who are just uh, trying uh, to prevent uh, human rights, or allowing human rights uh, to uh, flower, to uh, achieve social peace. I'm going uh, to talk about uh, what is happening in my country, in Venezuela. I'm going to start uh, speaking to you, speaking on behalf of uh, my compatriots, and I just want to say that Venezuela is asking uh, asylum from the democratic world. We are in a terrible polarization situation where there is hatred, the divisionism, and segregation, which is propagated by the President of the Republic. And this is uh, being repeated by the officials of his government, and uh, we are now suffering from 11 years of repression and persecution, which uh, is, of course, perpetrated against all the people who are against uh, the regime. We cannot call our country democratic. Uh, in fact, for many years, uh, there are no independent institutions. There is no separation of powers, which is, of course, the fundamental basis for a democratic system. Apart from the fact that Hugo Chavez uh, managed to become elected president of the republic in free elections, uh, but he has used a democratic uh, system to uh, carry out uh, Attempt, uh, or has attacked the constitution. In fact, he's even uh, organized uh, a coup d'etat and uh, he has adapted all the democratic institutions uh, so that they fit in with his Bolivarian re revolution and that they follow socialism uh, for the 21st uh, century. And now the whole legislative uh, system, the legal system, all the supervisory authorities, which uh, should be autonomous, but in fact uh, are completely undermined. I think it is necessary to re remember that the totalitarian uh, system was rejected in a referendum which was uh, presented by the president in December 2007 by a clear majority of electors. Now there is total control by Chavez of the institutions and this means that justice or the justice system is used to punish uh, uh, and uh, to put in prison all those persons uh, who disagree with the government. There are persecutions for political uh, reasons. So there is also psychological terror perpetrated against the population. There is a high level of insecurity. And we have become the most dangerous country in America with 115,000 uh, homicides in 10 years, uh, which includes assassination and uh, political or assassination by police officers and other uh, scourges of this nature. In 2009, there were 16,000 homicides. Only nine out of 100 uh, assassinations have been uh, cleared up, which means that uh, the number of people who get away scot-free in 91%. The Venezuelan state uh, violates the uh, human ri rights of all its citizens. It doesn't guarantee the right to life, and it doesn't uh, allow or it doesn't punish crime and makes people anxious and worried. More than 120 Venezuelans have been kidnapped and are in the hands of irregular groups. Some of them have been uh, kidnapped for more than eight years. In 2009, according to semi-official figures, there were 742 kidnappings, and in 2010, we've already uh, got to 300 kidnappings. Insecurity in all its forms is a policy of terrorism, terrorism perpetrated uh, by the state, which doesn't punish those who are responsible for it and this means that all Venezuelans live in a state of insecurity uh, and uh, they just spend their time trying to live or survive on a day-by-day -day basis and there is a general internal war going on. The nationalization of major companies in entire economic sectors, for example electricity, communications, uh, the control of banks, uh, etc., 
has destroyed uh, the stability of uh, the system. And what uh, the uh, uh, government has uh, done is uh, to uh, uh, nationalize uh, some of the big uh, petroleum uh, companies. At the same time, even if a, a vote is taken, that doesn't mean to say that the popular will is going to be rep uh, respected. A lot of people are being persecuted and uh, they are being uh, threatened uh, by representatives of the state. There is violation of the Constitution, there is a violation of the laws of the Republic, and uh, the National Assembly is not... Uh, uh, following uh, constitutional laws and is discrediting uh, people who speak out against the government. There are a number of uh, former mayors and governors uh, who are now uh, being uh, personally um, pursued by the president uh, and have been uh, incarcerated. There is a lot of persecution. As a, a lawyer who is a defender of human rights, I have been accused uh, by the National Assembly of uh, treason, which is a crime that can uh, carry a maximum punishment of 30 years of prison. Could we ask the speaker to go a bit slower, because at this speed I can't even think. In 2004, in 2004 and 2005, uh, I tried uh, to collect uh, the witnesses of uh, a number of uh, prisoners uh, who have been caught by the regime. and. Uh, we have, of course, uh, denounced uh, these violations to the International Human Rights Council. I'm sure that uh, one day we will have a state based on the rule of law in my country, and uh, these people will have uh, to go and answer for their crimes in front of the International Criminal Court. The International Criminal Court uh, has a number of uh, measures, or is already uh, looking at a number of cases which have been presented uh, to it. We have been uh, obliged, or I have been obliged, to abandon my country, leaving behind my children, my family, and I don't even know if I'll be able to go back. Some of the people uh, here know that uh, kind of uh, situation and uh, will understand what I'm going through. For many w weeks, uh, civil servants from the national government persecuted my family. They tried to, to stir up hatred against uh, myself uh, by speaking out against me on television and radio and trying to destroy my honor and reputation. Five months after, I decided to, to take uh, the step of going back home. We have uh, seen a lot of uh, situations where people are being uh, threatened uh, I have uh, been uh, defended by one of my former students, Nixon uh, Moreno, who is now exiled in Peru. But he was uh, then subject uh, to uh, a lot of persecution by the government, and uh, he was forced to seek asylum from the uh, um, uh, apostolic uh, nunciator in Caracas, where he spent two years uh, without uh, the Venezuelan state uh, accepting to fulfill its obligations under international conventions. And uh, we've had a number of uh, attempts made against uh, this diplomatic mission, even though the ministry didn't uh, investigate any of those attacks. Four months ago, uh, I was accused of political destabilization and uh, treason. Then there was a, a hunger strike that was organized in front of uh, the headquarters of the OEA in Her uh, Caracas. We asked uh, the Human Rights Council to uh, look at the situation of political prisoners and uh, those who are persecuted for political reasons in Venezuela, but uh, the Venezuelan government has not allowed uh, the Commission to visit uh, Ven Venezuela. I would also say that the Commission has not been allowed uh, to, uh, to Venezuela. 
and uh, the government has been asked uh, for uh, permission to entry into the country, but that uh, request has been re refused. More than 160 young people joined the hunger strike throughout the country and asked uh, for uh, Julio Rivas to uh, be freed. He is a student of 22 years of age, and uh, he was arrested after a student march. He was accused of inciting civil war and destabilization, and he was put in a maximum security prison. He's only 22 years old and, uh, and a student. The National Assembly immediately opened an inquiry uh, and uh, put two other lawyers uh, under surveillance. We are lawyers, of course, who look at ways of um, defending the rights of uh, students and other persons who are involved in the same cause. We've also seen uh, government uh, presenting false uh, news about us on television and on radio. We had uh, two um, civil servants who were highly armed and who stole my BlackBerry because they wanted to get access to my contacts. This is a form of psychological terrorism which is perpetrated by totalitarian regimes. The same thing has been done to other people who defend human rights. We have uh, also seen assassination of the owners of the media against uh, businessmen, the military uh, personnel, students, as well as uh, activists from political parties. It seems uh, that uh, the legal system is also uh, just following uh, slavishly whatever the president says. Eighty-five uh, students have recently been arrested. Uh, those uh, arrests uh, have led to the violation of 14 different uh, fundamental rights, as well as uh, the use of toxic substance against uh, the demonstrations. How much time do I still have? Esta es la situación. As to political prisoners, there are 30 political prisoners who have been kidnapped by the legal system and uh, there is no due process of law and their human rights are being infringed. Uh, there are 2,500 uh, citizens who are victims of criminal persecution and we include 250 students amongst them. There is arbitration, arbitrary detention uh, in which the right to life is uh, being undermined as well as uh, the assumption of innocence is also ignored. There is a violation of the right to defense, violation of the right to have a just uh, trial. There are other violations, uh, for example, of uh, due process uh, and people from civil society are not uh, respected. In all the cases Political prisoners uh, do not have any opportunity to obtain uh, justice. I'm going to talk about uh, a judge called Maria Lourdes Safuni, who was uh, uh, defending a businessman called Eligio Sedeño, and uh, he spent uh, three years in prison without any sentence being passed uh, against him. And uh, the uh, lawyer was uh, sentenced herself uh, to a number of years in uh, jail. This uh, person is now in a prison and uh, she has been condemned by her own court. Dear participants in this forum, at this uh, Geneva Summit for Human Rights, Tolerance and Democracy, I started my presentation by saying that uh, v uh, Venezuela is uh, living the last days of uh, a uh, system which uh, claims to have uh, freedom, but it doesn't uh, allow, or because our system doesn't allow an open totalitarian system. Unfortunately, in our modern uh, system, because of economic interests uh, between nations, uh, those interests are placed above human rights. Over the last few years, uh, we have denounced uh, a number of uh, violations at fora such as this, and we have denounced what is happening in Venezuela. But Venezuela is seen as a tap for black oil, and uh, in spite of the fact we have uh, signed a number of uh, conventions on human rights, we uh, see a violation of many of those rights on a day-to-day -day basis. Let me just uh, remind you of uh, I have a dream. I think that all those in uh, Venezuela who love uh, freedom and justice uh, should remind ourselves of what we are living through today. I have a dream. 
I have a dream that we'll be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of uh, brotherhood. With this face, we'll be able to work uh, together, to pray together, to struggle together, and uh, to stand up uh, for freedom uh, together, knowing that we will be free one day. When, with this face, we'll be able to transform, and when this happens, we will allow freedom to ring. When we let it ring from any tenement and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we'll be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty.